Good morning guys, hope everyone's doing well. So today I thought I'd do a video about how I break in a new pipe. Um, as you can see, for those of you that know, there's a new pipe added to the rack and it's this. Um, this is a gorgeous straight grained, love that, really nice, Cumberland fishtail stem, just a love that. that came up perfectly to suit me and this is one of my own pipes this is only the second pipe i have in mine i've got that one there that's a very early jack ryan pipe and now this and i've made this to kind of suit me perfectly kind of i've graduated to much smaller pipes so this is what i made myself uh, it just happens to have fantastic fantastic grain as you can see i have had one ball in it that was because I set the cord on the camera and it died, so I lost the footage. So this is take two, and again, a different tobacco. So to break it in, my method is very simple. For me, filter pipes. So put in the filter. I'm and that is it ready to go. I don't do anything to the bowl. Um, a lot of people can do different treatments, like a honey treatment. Um, some people preferred a pre-carbonated bowl. Uh, that can be via bowl coating, um, which you can make yourself or some pipes come pre-carbonated. Uh, but for me, I like to break in a pipe, just natural briar, no additives or nothing added to the bowl and just pack in my tobacco. They're very simple and straightforward, but it's something I've always done. Uh, I don't hate the taste of new briar. Um, some people do, some people don't. It's, again, it's all complete individual preference uh, as to what they like. Uh, for me, I don't have an issue with it. Um, I also find certain blends break in pipes quicker. Uh, again, this is my personal experience. Like I said, I'm no expert. Don't take anything I say <laughs> uh, with too much confidence. But I find a higher sugar content blend, so like a really high natural sugar content strip, Virginia or Virginia Preak, for example, kind of carbonizes the bowl better. That's purely my own experience. Again, I don't know if that's actually true, as in if it does make a difference, but it's just something that I find. Um, that's why even, although I've not broken in a pipe with Latakia in a while, because I just haven't been smoking that at all, um, even a Latakia pipe, for the first maybe three or four bowls, I will, I will, I will purposely use a really quite high sugar content Virginia to kind of get stuff started. Um, yeah, just what I find works well for me. So, as always, first two, two lights are with a match. Just what I do. Great start. <laughs> Not good. There we go. I'll let the match burn for a few seconds. Get a tamper. There we go. That's the initial charring light. And that's all I, that's all I do. There's no kind of special method I use to break my pipes. It's just, I suppose, the most basic form of way. Uh, again, everyone has their own preferences. In the comments, it would be great to see people comment their method, as I'm sure everyone's is slightly different. Uh, whether they use a certain type of tobacco to break in all their pipes. For me, like I said, I'm just happy to have Orlick golden sliced here. But for me, it's always a uh, straight... Virginia that I use. 
Um, but yeah, it, interesting to see if people use certain blends, if they use certain coatings, if they prefer pre-carbonated or not, if maybe they use a, the tunny method. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to know your thoughts on this topic. That being said, hope everyone has a, has a great weekend. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.